day mga ka mat like a boss welcome to my channel and for today's video pag-usapan natin yung pagkuha ng roots of quadratic equation um, using completing the square and quadratic formula and which one is better let's start so i have here um, quadratic equations that can be solved using completing the square and quadratic formula same equation po tayo and magkaiba ng method yung gagamitin natin. So dito, the given is x squared plus 6x minus 16 is equal to 0. Now, in completing the square, we have to isolate the constant and put it on the right side of the equation. And it will become x squared plus 6x is equal to 16. After that, ito na lang yung tatandaan nyo na formula. So completing the square kasi may step-by-step -step procedure. Pero ito yung laging nangyayari. Ang tatandaan nyo lang yung b over 2 at saka dito yung b over 2 squared. So, importante na malaman natin kung ano yung b. And in our given, b is equal to 6. So, gagamitin natin siya. Now, yung b over 2, dito yan. So, magiging x plus ano ba yung b over 2 mo? ba 6 over 2 and that's 3. So, magiging x plus 3 is equal to, and then squared, do not forget that equals um, 16, kunin natin yung 16 dito, plus gamitin natin yung b over 2 squared. So, yung b over 2 squared ay 6 over 2, um, 3, and then squared, and that's 9. So, plus 9. So, magiging x plus 3 squared is equal to 25. And then, we extract square roots para makancel ito, and then x plus 3 is equal to positive negative square root of 25. Then, x plus 3 is equal to positive negative 5 since perfect square ang 5. And then, x is equal to mm, transpose natin si 3 magiging negative 3 plus or minus 5. So, x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 plus 5 and that's 2. And our x sub 2 is equal to negative 3 minus 5 and that's equal to negative 8. Yan po yung sa completing the square. Now, by using quadratic formula, so dapat general form. So, A is equal to 1 kasi since general form na, dapat naka-equate sa 0. General form na tayo, so A is equal to 1, B is equal to 6, and C is equal to negative 16. And then, substitute lang natin sa formula, X is equal to automatic since negative of B, ito, change mo na lang yung sign, negative 6, plus or minus square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 16 all over 2 times 1. Then we'll have x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus square root of 36 then plus 64 all over 2. And then x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus square root of 100 over 2. And perfect square po si 100, so square root niyan ay 10. So magiging x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 10 all over 2. And then x sub 1 is negative 6 plus 10 over 2 or 4 over 2 or 2. And then x sub 2 is equal to negative 6 minus 10 over 2 and that's negative 16 over 2 or negative 8. Okay, so negative 8 po yung naging result. So, same lang po nung kabila. Now, ang quadratic formula, may susundan ka lang na pattern or formula. And then, mak makakapag come up ka na sa sagot. Si completing the square, kapag na-master mo yung shortcut, mapapabilis ka na. Si quadratic formula, hindi natin kasi sure yung final, kung final answer pa ba yung pinakang sagot. So, let's have another example. The given here is x squared plus x plus 3. So, alam natin, so magiging negative 3 to doon sa completing the square. So, shortcut na tayo, x plus 1 half. Kung mapapansin nyo, lagi tayo nag-extract, diba? So, mag-extract na tayo dito pa lang. Extract na agad natin. Tapos, yung negative 3 plus natin, yung in-square nito, diba? Meron tayong b over 2 squared. Diba? Ang b over 2 natin, 1 half. So, ang squared na, 1 fourth. Kuha? Tapos, i-add lang natin to Paano tayo mag-add ng whole number and fraction? Ganito lang. I-times mo lang yung denominator sa whole number. So, that's negative 12. 
Tapos, i-plus mo doon sa numerator. So, magiging negative 11, then copy the denominator. So, ang mangyayari dyan, x plus 1 half is equal to positive negative square root of negative 11 over 4. Now, si 4 po ay perfect square. So, kunin natin. x plus 1 half is equal to positive negative square root of negative 11 over 2. Okay? And then, lipat natin, x is equal to negative 1 half plus or minus square root of negative 11 over 2. Yan. Tapos, since parehas ng denominator, pwede natin siyang pagsamahin, magiging x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 11, and then yung common natin na, variable, na denominator, which is 2. Now, pwede naman na ito yung sagot, kasi hindi naman perfect square si 11. Or, pwede din naman, ilipat nyo, kasi we all know that i is equal to square root of negative 1. So, para lang maging positive yung, yung nasa loob, pwede mong ilabas yung i. So, magiging x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i square root of negative 11 over 2. So, hindi ko naman siya masyadong ina-accept. I mean, hindi ko naman siya masyadong pinapaka-detail na to. Naglalabas lang tayo ng i, oh, sorry, positive 11 na pala siya. Kapag meron pa lang tayong makakansan. So, okay na yan. Now, using quadratic formula, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 3 x is equal to the opposite of b, negative 1, plus or minus, square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3, all over 2 times 1. Then we'll have x is negative 1, plus or minus, square root of 1 minus 12, all over 2. And that's x is equal to negative 1, plus or minus, square root of negative 11 over 2. Yan, dito sa case na to, mas mapabilis yung quadratic formula, di ba? Dito din naman. Pwede naman nating ilabas yung i or hindi. Ayan. Dito, kapag sa completing the square, kapag fraction, medyo malilito ka lang. Pero, shortcut pa din naman. Sa quadratic formula, ganun din naman. There are cases na simplest form na yung nakukuha. Okay? Pero, sa quadratic formula, hindi tayo sure. Lagi. Laging yung question natin, ito na ba yung simplest form? Unlike sa completing, yun na talaga. Okay? So, let's have another example. Di ba ito ay magiging negative 5? So, shortcut. X. Pwede nga, di ba, Oh, sige, x minus 1, kasi b over 2, is equal to positive negative square root of, um, this one is negative 5, plus, ano yung squared ng 1? So, 1. Kasi b over 2 squared. Tapos, x is equal to 1, ilipat na natin itong negative 1 dito. Plus or minus square root of negative 4. Ito na ngayon. Si 4 po ay perfect square and negative po siya. So, pwede natin siyang paghiwalayan as negative 1 times square root of 4. Pa, kasi alam natin that i is equal to square root of negative 1. So, mangyayari, um, x is equal to 1 plus or minus 2i because square root of 4 is 2. So, ito na yung final answer. Pwede nyo hindi na paghiwalayan or pwede naman paghiwalayan. Now, using quadratic formula, x, sorry, a is equal to 1, b is negative 2, and c is equal to 5. Substitution, x is negative opposite, so 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5, all over 2 times 1. Then we'll have x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 all over 2. And that's x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16. Kasi 4 minus 20 is 16. Negative 16, so over 2. And then 16 is a perfect square. And then may negative, so gagamit ulit tayo ng i. So magiging um, 2 plus or minus 4i over 2. Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi siya kaparehas ng nauna. Pero pwedeng masimplify. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, si 2 at saka si 4, they are both divisible by the denominator 2. So, pag dinibide natin, magiging x is equal to 1 plus or minus 2i. So, ganun na po. Okay? Last example. Using completing the square, that's negative 2. So, magiging x. Pwedeng dito, di ba b over 2 to, tapos nililipat natin. Pwedeng dito na agad tayo maglipat. Kaso, change the sign na. 3 over 2. Di ba b over 2 yun kanina? Tapos, plus or minus, nagsishortcut na tayo na nagsishortcut. Para pinapakita ko sa inyo yung, yung mabilisan na. And then, dito, yung negative 2 plus yung, yung b over 2 squared, it's 9 over 4, di ba? Kasi 3 times 3, 9, 4, 2 times 2, 4. And then, using ito, yung pag-a-add, so magiging ano lang yan, times lang natin. So, that's negative 8 
plus 9, so that's 1. So, magiging meron tayong 1 fourth. Magiging x is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 1 fourth. As you can see, 1 and 4 are both uh, perfect squares. So, pwede natin kunin. x is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus or minus 1 over 2. And then, paghiwalayin natin, x, is, x sub 1 is negative 3 over 2 plus 1 half. Since parehas ng denominator, pwede natin i-add ang numerator. So, negative 2 over 2, copy the common denominator, and that's negative 1. Our x sub 2, x sub 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 minus 1 half. So, negative 4 over 2, and that's negative 2. So, these are the roots, negative 2 and negative 1. Using quadratic formula, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 2 x is equal to negative of 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2 all over 2 times 1. And that's x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 8 over 2. So x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 1 square root of 1 over 2. Now square root of 1 is 1 so magiging x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 1 over 2. So, pag pinaghiwalay natin, x sub 1 is negative 3 plus 1 over 2, that's negative 1. And x sub 2 is negative 3 minus 1 over 2, and that's negative 2. Same po siya ng naging sagot. Now, for the question, which is better? There are cases kasi na um, mas mabilis talaga, gaya nga nasabi ko kanina, si completing the square po, may shortcut po na ginagawa. So, Doon sa dulo, yun na yung final answer. Si quadratic formula, lagi ta pa nating tatanungin kung um, perfect square ba to or pwede pa bang masimplify to. Pero, for beginners, mas maganda na quadratic formula na muna para nasusundan mo na nasusundan. And then, kung mabilis ka naman mag-pick up nung sa mag-solve, pwede completing the square. Kasi, yun na din naman yung ano ko, parang nire-recommend ko, completing the square. I-master nyo yun, mabilis na kayong makakuha ng groups. Okay? So that's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something.